Hey, Alyssa. George mentioned that your mom passed away last night. Is that true? Hi, Kelly. Yes, she did. Oh, my gosh. I'm really, really sorry to hear that, my dear. I know it's tough, but try to find some comfort in knowing that she's finally able to rest and is in peace after that year-long fight against cancer. Her suffering is over now, and she's in a better place with God. If anything, I think it's something we should celebrate in a way. Let's try to focus on the happier memories and be glad for her. I'm sure she would want us to be. Thanks, Kaylee. I appreciate what you're saying, but celebrating her death? Can we just be glad she's gone? I mean, I don't think this is the right moment to downplay what my mom had to deal with in the past 14 months. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling offended after hearing what you just said. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Did I upset you? I truly apologize. That was not my intention at all. I just wanted to, you know, cheer you up and help you see the positive side. That's all. I didn't think you'd take my words in a different way. Honestly, I can't help but feel like you're trying to guilt trip your mother-in-law or something. Um, I'm a bit confused about what you're saying. I just wanted to make it clear that my mom's passing is not a matter for celebration. Anyway, can I ask you something? What's gonna happen to your mom's old house now that she's passed away? I remember it being a pretty big property with an attic and a full suite basement, right? And it's in such a prime location with nice parks and public transport nearby. So what's the plan for the house? George mentioned that you guys might move in there and live there. Is that true? I'm not sure yet. Honestly, I haven't really had the time to think about it. Like you just said, the house is really big and George and I don't need all that space. But it's a special place for me and holds so many memories of my parents. It was their first and last home they ever bought. After years of working hard and squeezing into tiny apartments with three kids, they were finally able to get a house where they could imagine having grandkids over. So yeah, I'll definitely need to take some serious time to think about what's the best thing to do with it. I'm sure you will. No doubt about it. You're totally thinking about the fact that you guys want to have kids, right? I know George wants a couple of little ones running around. And seriously, what a better place to start a family than a home that's in the heart of the city, but still away from all the hustle and bustle. It's just so amazing. Thank you for all of this. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, thank you for inheriting such a wonderful place. Okay. You know what? I just came up with a wonderful idea. How about you go and enjoy a nice relaxing vacation after the funeral and memorial are over? I think it might do you some good to get away from all of this for a while. Alone. I hear they have a great new resort. Oh, I can't think of a better way to mend your broken heart. I don't know. I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm not sure now is the time for a vacation. Thank you for the thought though. Oh, come on now. You can stay sad forever, dear. That won't bring your mother back now, would it? And I'm sure your mother would want you to move on and go back to living your own life. I know I would. No parent wants to leave their child in distress. For your mother's sake, you have to bounce back up. Let me treat you to the vacation. It'll be my absolute pleasure. I feel somewhat responsible as the other remaining parent figure in your life. This is the least I could do for your late mother, isn't it? That's so generous of you, Kaylee, but... I won't take no for an answer, young lady. I know how you feel because I also lost my mother at a young age too. I've been there. 
Now is exactly the right time for a vacation. Set everything back to zero and start fresh. Trust me, this is what your mom would want. She's nodding vigorously right now, looking down on us. I'm sure of it. How does next weekend sound? It's a long weekend. It's perfect. Please, let me do this for you. I can't stand by while you bury yourself deeper and deeper into sadness. Okay, Kaylee, if you insist, thank you for your generous offer. I really appreciate it. I got married to my hubby George about two years ago, but we haven't started having kids yet. We both really love our jobs and decided to put off the whole baby thing for a little longer. We're still in our early 30s and want to enjoy this newlywed phase as much as we can, you know? My relationship with my mother-in-law, Kaylee, has been okay. Nothing too exciting or dramatic, really. That's how I've seen it, at least. Kaylee can be a bit of a talker and she's got zero filter, but I never took it personally or let her blunt honesty bother me. But today, it was kinda awkward and uncomfortable when she started talking about my mom's passing in such a happy and lighthearted way. I guess I just figured that's how she is, trying to be friendly or something. She even offered to treat me to a fancy resort trip. How generous is that? So I took her advice and went on a three day trip to relax and reset. I came back all pampered and manicured, ready to get back to our regular routine. But when I turned on my phone, I was totally shocked by the messages Kaylee had sent. Hey Alyssa, just wanted to give you a heads up. I've moved into your mom's old house. Well, technically, it's yours now since you're an orphan. So I guess it's kind of like my son's house. You know what I mean? Anyway, since I was nice enough to let you know about my new place, I hope you can do me a solid and not bring up any legal stuff. Okay, cool beans? Wait, hold up. How on earth is that house even close to being as good as George's? That's some seriously messed up logic you've got there. And guess what? The house is still very much in my parents' name, thank you very much. If anyone should have a claim to it, it's definitely me. You can't just pack your stuff and move into a house that you have zero rights to. Oh my God, is that why you were so eager to send us on a trip? Was that your sneaky plan all along? You wanted George and me to be away at some remote resort with no signal, so you could just waltz in and claim squatter's rights, right? And you thought we'd just have to accept it? Kaylee, that is so not right. How could you say that? What good is this giant house if it's going to sit and rot? Don't you ever feel bad for me, living in a tiny studio apartment above a liquor store? How can you be so greedy as to not want to share any part of the six bedroom house. You're my daughter-in-law. You're a Thompson now. What is yours is ours, and what is ours is yours. How can you argue that? I can't talk to you right now. I think I will discuss this with my husband. I'll get back to you. George already told me he's all for me moving in. He's my son after all. He is looking forward to his mama's homemade dinners and the way I fold his boxer briefs. Isn't he adorable? What son wouldn't want to live with his mama? It seems like you're the only one that has a problem with this arrangement, dear. George, where are you now? Why didn't you answer any of my texts or calls? I've been trying to get in touch with you this whole time. What's going on? Hey babe, what's up? Do you need me to do anything for you? I thought you were swamped with work. By the way, guess what? I'm actually working on a super awesome surprise for us. And I'm so excited to show you when you get home. Can't wait. A surprise? Why? Is it a special day? <laughs> You'll find out when you get home. Don't be so curious. Anyways, did you know your mom was moving in with us? Can you believe it? And the weirdest part is, she told me she's moving into my mom's old house. Wait, what? Who told you that? Your mom texted me not too long ago. 
Oh man, I totally remember telling her to keep it on the down low until you got back. But hey, what can we do? She's just so amped up about it that she let the cat out of the bag and ruined the whole surprise. <laughs> Classic Kaylee, right? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm here now. So, when you're done with work, please hustle home ASAP. It'll be awesome if you could even ask your boss to let you off a few hours early so we can team up and get the party prepped. Time is ticking. Here? What do you mean, here? Are you there too? At my mom's old house? Oh yeah, I guess it's still your parents' house, huh? But it's just a matter of time before it officially and legally becomes our house. Aren't you excited? We are going to be homeowners. Hold up. What I'm confused about is, why is your mom there? Is she there just for tonight? And why are you throwing a party? Nah, babe. She's here to stay with us. Live with us. And that's exactly why we're throwing a party. To celebrate the fact that my mom is officially moving in with us for good. I had a feeling you might not be the one to invite her directly. So my mom and I schemed up a plan to have her move in while we were off on our vacation. It was all about surprising you, you know. Isn't this great, babe? Maybe this will help you get over losing your mom. What? Are you serious right now? How is this something you can up and decide by yourself? Is Kaylee going to pay rent? Does she expect me to make her three meals a day? Is she going to make herself food? Is she going to chip in on the utilities? Internet? Hey, hold up, babe. It's not like my mom is some helpless soul. She's perfectly capable of contributing. You know, she's in awesome shape. Plus, she can whip up an amazing steak and potatoes. I think you might be blowing this out of proportion. It's actually a positive thing. I can't believe you did this behind my back. George, I'm not comfortable living with your mom. It's not that I don't like her or anything, but I don't want to live with someone other than you. We don't even have kids yet, for Christ's sake. On top of it, it hasn't even been a week since my mom passed away. I wanted to take my time in her house and say goodbye to her things properly. This is not okay at all. I need you to fix this. She's your mom, so you handle it. What the hell, Alisa? What do you expect me to do? Kick my mom out? Where is she supposed to go? You are being so childish and unreasonable. She is your mother now too. You can't tell her to go away just because you aren't comfortable. What does that even mean anyway? You didn't even give her a chance to settle in. And I'm your mom's son-in-law. Don't I have rights to this house as much as you do? If not more? Why on earth would you have more rights to my mom's house, George? Are you still daydreaming or something? Look, just answer me this question. Are you telling me you have no intention of asking your mother to leave? Dude. She's my mom. She's been there for me for a whopping 30 years, raising me and all that jazz. Chill out, Alisa. Seriously, don't be such a buzzkill. It's not a good look. Trust me. You can't just start nitpicking and questioning every good thing that comes our way. It's like staring a gift horse in the mouth, man. Let's just roll with it and appreciate the blessings we've got. You know what? Fine. Just at least give me a few days to deal with my mom's estate. Maybe I'll get new appliances too. Maybe a fresh coat of paint. And some hardware upgrades too while I'm at it. I want you to take your mom and go to your old place for just a few days so I can get my mom's house ready. Can you do that for me, George? The house still smells like my mom. I want to stay there alone just for a few days, okay? I think that way, I can get closure. Do you know what I mean? Well, you know what? Maybe you're onto something. All right, I think I can handle that. I'll head over to our old place with my mom for now. Until you give me the green light to come back. Thanks a bunch, Alisa, for being understanding and embracing my mom in our new home. I can't wait. This is gonna be epic. Don't even mention it, hon. You are my husband. Alrighty, I'll see you in a few more days. Hey there, Alyssa. How's it going with the house? I hope everything's shaping up nicely. Oh, and here's a little tip. Make sure to clear out anything that reminds you too much of your mom, okay? It'll help us move forward smoothly. By the way, 
if you happen to come across some cool window curtains for the living room, that'd be great. And hey, how about giving the walls a fresh coat of paint? Maybe in a vibrant color, maybe something like pink or yellow to liven things up. Also, it'd be sweet to get some new bed linen. Yes, I'm not really feeling the whole sleeping in your mom's old sheets ordeal, you see. Didn't you already do exactly that while I was off on my trip? Come on, Kaylee. You slept in my mom's old bed for two whole nights. So please, let's not play innocent here when you're clearly not. Well, I didn't think you'd let me into the house otherwise. Can you blame me? If I'd known you would offer to upgrade everything for me, I wouldn't have had to take such drastic measures. Anyway, I'm so excited to move in. Is there a date set for completion? I may start making my calendar. Oh, how thrilled are we, huh? I've never even dreamed I'd be living in such a mansion. All thanks to my son picking the right girl. So, I was thinking, how about we throw a big housewarming party once things are settled? I can invite my sister and some friends and George can ask his work friends to join us too. What do you think? Of course, you don't have to worry about cooking because I know a great catering service that has an excellent menu. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there before you go off the rails. Sorry to burst your delusional bubble, but that is not going to happen, Kaylee. I already sold my mom's house. What? What do you mean sold her house? You mean her stuff, right? You can't have sold the house. Oh, yes. I most certainly did sell the house. I figured it was better to sell the house and preserve my mom's memory in my heart rather than to let some leeching mother and son duo steal it out from under my nose. Are you screwing with me? Who gave you the right to sell the house? Why wasn't I included in the decision making? You lied to us about doing some renovations and you sold it behind our backs? How could you do this to us? Have you lost your goddamn mind? You are sorely mistaken if you think there won't be consequences for this, young missy. Why are you throwing a fit over me selling my mom's house? Did you want to buy it? I sold it for three million. Do you have that kind of money? I really don't understand why you're so upset about this. What rights do you think you have over my mom's estate? You love mentioning the Thompson family, but what even is that? Are you royalty or something? You have nothing. You literally have no house. That's why you were eyeing my mom's house. You're going to squeeze your way into a fortune you never had any business even coveting. It's so embarrassing I can't handle it. I've decided to end things with George. So I guess this is it for you and me as well. What? End things with George? What do you mean? Not only was your precious mama's boy 100% up for stealing my mom's house with you, but I have evidence of him sleeping around with women he met on social media. So what I mean is that I will be discarding that human piece of garbage in the trash. Capiche? My son cheated on you? There's no way. He's a noble person. He would never do that. You must have confused him with someone else. I was at the hospital a lot when my mom was dying of cancer, as you know. And while I was staying over to keep her company, I know George brought girls over to her place. How? How can you know that? I came across some long red hairs and found an earring I've never seen before. So naturally, I installed some security cameras. And what do you know? Anytime I was away for days at a time, George had girls over, sleeping with them in my bed, watching TV on my couch, and making food in my kitchen. Well, you can't place the whole blame on him. If you hadn't spent so much time at the hospital, he wouldn't have gotten lonely and he wouldn't have had to look somewhere else for comfort. A man needs a woman's touch, you know? How can you jump straight to such an extreme conclusion? Really? To divorce him over this, it probably didn't mean anything. 
purely physical, I bet. Besides, if you had known this for a while, why haven't you done something about it sooner? Am I wrong to assume you were going to let him off the hook because you know that you, yourself, haven't done anything to prevent it from happening in the first place? I don't think I even understood that sentence. I didn't plan on letting him off the hook for anything. I would never plan that for infidelity. I was planning on having a talk with George, but never to let him off anything. But even during my mom's funeral and memorial, I saw George slip away when I wasn't looking to have his rendezvous with his mistresses. So when you suggested the retreat, I decided I'll get my thoughts straight and come back with the best strategy to get out of the marriage. I hadn't anticipated the perfect opportunity to present itself. You trying to steal my mom's house was just perfect. Disgusting, but perfect for me. So, so you really mean to go through with a divorce? Truly, who divorces their spouse over such a trivial incident? If everybody did what you're doing, then there wouldn't be a single married couple left in this country. Men can't help it. It's in their nature. Besides, think of your poor mother. What would she think looking down at her divorced daughter? How sad would that make her? My mom isn't as old-fashioned and closed-minded as you. She would have much preferred me to protect my assets from smiling thieves and get out of a loveless, untrustworthy marriage. She would have supported me all the way to the courthouse and back if she were still alive. Fine, you'd be that way, you little skank. But give half the money you got from selling the house to my son. You owe him that much. You two are still legally married, so half of what is yours should rightfully be George's as well. I won't accept anything less than 50-50. Okay then, in that line of logic, when you pass away, am I getting half of George's inheritance too? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. You can't force a rule on me if you aren't willing to obey it yourself. Huh. Anyway, I've gone ahead and packed up the many, many things you'd already brought into my mom's house and sent them back to where you are now. What? So take your stuff and your crappy son back and don't ever call me again. Goodbye. I was able to get my divorce finalized without any complications because of my compiled evidence of George's infidelity. I was even able to claim alimony from him based on emotional distress. Thank goodness we hadn't had children yet. That would have made me rethink the divorce and I might have had to stay in this disgusting, greedy family for another 18 years. From what I heard, George has been caught by his mistress's husband and was taken to court for adultery. And to help George pay alimony to me and fines to the husband, Kaylee's taken her first job ever at a meatpacking plant. She's supposedly working 12 hours a day to make ends meet for her and her precious son. But George, that scum of the earth, still refuses to admit his own wrongdoings and blames his mother for me leaving them. I don't know how I could ever tolerate an imbecile like that, let alone marry him. After thinking that a mansion was within her grasp, what a way to fall, huh? I truly think my mom has pulled some heavenly strings and helped me out big time. I am now a free woman, able to do anything she wants in life. I've built a strong career for myself already so there's nowhere left for me to go but up, up, up. I shall never forget to be grateful that I was able to get out of the worst mistake of my life unscathed. Here's to brighter, garbage-free future.